स्टेट एम्पियर्स लाइन बी ओ सवार सो रिमेंबर दीज टू इन दिस वे दिस इज द बेस्ट वे टू रिमेंबर टू रईट द स्टेटमेंट द फस्ट वन इज इंटग्रल बी डाट डी एल इज ईक्वल टू म्यू नाट टाइम साइल बी टेलिंग नैक्स्ट वन डीबी इज प्रपोर्शनल टू ईडीएल सैन टीटा बै आर्को If you remember these two, you will be able to write two statements. Generally, I think uh, these two questions will not come under the same question. Now, I will try to explain. The first one is Ampere's law. Just now we read that uh, we came to know that a current carrying wire produces magnetic field. Is this clear? Right. So a wire is there in which current is flowing. The current I is flowing. Now what I do, I draw a closed loop of any shape. Closed means it has no starting and ending points. This loop can be divided into many small, infinitesimally small parts. So each part is having a length of dl. Length element, small piece of length is dl. So what we learnt around this, some magnetic field is produced. So that magnetic field is measured by magnetic induction. The measure of magnetic field is magnetic index. Simply like intensity of light, intensity of electric field. This is called B, magnetic index. Some magnetic induction is produced at all the points. So what I do, I multiply B dl and then take the integration. Integration means summation. So sum, instead of writing sum all the time, they started writing only the symbol. So for by PC people, integration means addition. I am adding all such pieces. So each piece is B dot DL. I am adding all those terms. So adding means integration. So this B dot DL is numerically equal to mu naught times the current, current that is passing through the wire. So how do you write the answer? Line integral of B taken over the closed loop drawn. We are drawing it around the wire. Drawn around the wire is equal to is equal to mu naught times the current passing through it that's all if you write this you will be getting one mark actually it's a four marks question <coughs> now let us go for the next one that is bio savarla people call it as bayat savatla but actual pronunciation is bio savarla so these are the names of two scientists. They did the experiments regarding the uh, magnetic field produced by current carrying conductors. They did it separately, but what the results they found were uh, seen. That is the uh, reason why uh, this is named after both of them. Is this clear? Right. So there is a wire through which some current I is going. So I cut it into many pieces. So some length is DL. Just now we discussed. I want to, my intention is to find the magnetic induction at a point P, which is at a distance of R from the wire. And it is making an angle theta with this DL. Then the magnetic field due to only, due to only this small element, let us say DB, due to all wire is B, due to a small part of the wire is DB. Generally, if something is big x, small part of this will be dx. Like total length is L and small part is dl. Is this clear? Is this clear, right? <coughs> now, so according to B. O. Savarla, this db is directly proportional to the current. This db is directly proportional to length of the wire and it is directly proportional to sine of the angle between this dl and r inversely proportional to square of the distance of separation. 
you are supposed to write all these four statements. Then it is a four marks question. If you don't write, if you write simply in two to three lines, then it is a one mark question. So, magnetic induction due to a wire is directly proportional to one current to length and third uh, sign of the angle and inversely proportional to square of the distance that's all if you write this you will be getting one mark if you draw the diagram it will be an added advantage you will be impressing the examiner <laughs>